Hi, I'm Dennis Gage. Thanks for tuning in to My Classic Car, home of the Certified Car Nut. Well, this week we're at the LA County Fairplex in Pomona, California for the Grand National Roadster Show. This baby is the granddaddy of them all, the oldest indoor car show in the US. Inside these buildings are some of the finest cars on the planet. But in the last couple of years, they added a new element, an outdoor car show too. So now you really have it all. The best of the best, both inside and out. Let's get around and have a look. Hey John. Hey Tennis. Nice man, to see you. Man, what a show! What a thank show, you, man. Thank you. This is this is unbelievable. How long has this baby been going on? This is the 58th annual Grand National Roadster Show. Here years. at the Fairplex in Pomona, though, and I always think of this as the Oakland Roadster Show. Yeah, you know it is the Oakland Roadster Show. We moved here four years ago. Found a new home down here in Pomona. We we, we like to say the birthplace of hot rodding. Well, it is. It is that. And and what a you know what a fabulous. Uh, venue it is because I mean the facilities are incredible and, and how many buildings do you guys take up here? Oh, we take all the buildings here. It's Ooh. actually nine buildings. Wow. A lot of walking. <laughs> and the cool thing in the last couple of years, now you got cars outside. Yeah, too. that's even more exciting is we have cars that come out. So we have over 350 cars just on the outside of the buildings. We have 450 cars inside here. You draw some of the, the best cars in the world here. Yeah. And then, and then also people come from all over the country to see this. I yeah. just, I'm amazed. I mean, Georgia, uh, Florida, you know, New York, they're coming. They're coming here to see this show. Yeah, I, I think it's a good excuse also with 74 degree weather well, yeah, outside. Yeah, and, you know. yeah, when you think about New York this time of year, yeah, I think I'd come to SoCal. I yeah, think exactly. You're right. But you're right, we've got cars from all over the world coming here. Uh, 12 of the finest cars right now competing for the America's Most Beautiful uh, Roadster Trophy here, get their name on this trophy. And there's some serious names on oh, that Oh, some trophy. serious names on there. We've got Blackie Jajian on there. We've got George Barris has a couple names on there himself from all the cart back in the day. Yep, uh, yep. Chip Foose, Boyd Coddington, the list goes on. Yeah. Well, it, yeah, I mean, it is a beautiful thing, and there are some stunning, stunning cars. I know you got to work, I got to work, but let's check just a few of these out before. before okay, let's right, go do it. All right. Welcome back to My Classic Car. The Grand National Roadster Show in Pomona, California is truly a hot rodder's dream. And this year, it's even more special in that it's the 75th anniversary of the 32 Ford there was an entire building devoted just to the beloved Deuce. But that wasn't all. With the trophy for the world's most beautiful roadster up for grabs, the best builders from all over the world were trying to get their name on it. And as you can see, these truly are the cream of the crop. Man, the stuff inside was killer, but the rides outside were just as cool. It wasn't easy to pull myself away from these showpieces, but it was time to have a look at what was going on in the great outdoors. Well, this is absolutely beautiful roadster. I mean, we're at the Grand National Roadster Show. We ought to talk about a roadster. Oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> that's it. You, you built this when? Uh, about 2001. Yeah. Well, you, you did some cool stuff, and you did a lot of mix and match. I mean, obviously, we started with a 32. Yes. But then what? Then uh, I took down a 35 grill, started as a high boy, uh -huh. and we did that and uh, cut the grill up, started on the grill, and uh, went back to the windshield and said, let's put suicide doors on it. And he went with fenders. Uh, as I said, it started as a high boy, and then I, I had some fenders, and I said, well, I think I'll put fenders on it. Yeah, and the mount is... 32, cut off, bent, turned, and when we put the headlight on, it made the headlight turn at an angle, so we cut the bucket, and turn the headlight, you know, glass straight and welded it back up and oh, there man. we are. And when we did the front fenders and, and put them on, the 32 fenders, they come down yeah. like this and it looked like a Duesenberg. And I said, God, uh, you know, I think I know why Ford in the 33 and 4 <laughs> put the skirts on it. So it looks great. We, we made a skirt that looks like a 33 or 4 and put it on. And everybody thinks it's a 33 or 34 fender. The engine, that's a, what, 392 Hemi? 58, 392. Nice. And the other thing about that is, you know, you got a, you got a blown Hemi in this, but it's not screaming at you. It really is pretty subtle. And trying to uh, not say hide it, but put it so the hood 
would disappear, but with the blower you can't, so we had to put the scoop, and when we put the scoop up there, I decided, well, the chrome just stood out too much. And I yeah. said, you know, if we paint it black, maybe it'll disappear a little bit. And, and then, it did, and then you bring the red into it, right. and, you, and you got the, the pinstriping. You got pinstriping everywhere on this car. Yeah, more underneath. You pinstripe the underneath of this Every, car? Everything's pinstriped. Wow. This Everything. baby's won some awards too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the Grand National, it, it came in second, and then it won the Von Dutch Award there. Well, you've louvered, I mean, louvered the, the trunk back here, and pretty much all the tricks, all of the, the classics. 50 Pontiac taillights, yeah. French them in, did the same with the with the license plate, rolled the back pan, brought the exhaust out, and tried to keep it as much in the old style, you know, that I could, you know, growing up and go, in high school in the 50s, and, uh, you know, trying to bring some of that, you know, back that you did. But, but, and it's an absolute showpiece, but you drive this baby. Yes, goes, uh, I drive it. We drove down from... Uh, I live up in Sebastopol above San Francisco and four of us drove down. No kidding. Yeah. And what do you think of the event? I mean, what do you think of the show? Wonderful, really nice. It's gotten a lot better. I mean, this year it's just growing and growing and mm -hmm. growing. And with the cars outside, that's a nice touch, year, isn't it? Really nice, really nice for everybody. It allows a lot more people to come in and, and be part of it. Well, you, I tell you, you got one of the nicest cars here. Al, thanks so much for bringing it out, man. I thank you. Welcome back to My Classic Car. Well, Ron, this, this is a wild machine. A cab over, truck, pickup, hauler, something. What is it? <laughs> well, actually, it started life as a, as a one and a half ton hay truck flatbed. Oh, yeah? And we then, um, we then made a custom chassis for it, uh, which brought it down to uh, pickup size or street height. And uh, to keep it uh, natural, we put a Ford and a Ford. So it's got a 460 big block with a C6 tranny. No kidding. Yeah, which drops it, back to a nine inch Ford rear end here. Must not have much of a drive shaft. No, though. the drive shaft, <laughs> seriously, the drive so, shaft so probably 26 inches. You're a mid-engine truck here, right? Mid-engine truck. Underneath here, we have a spare tire yeah. uh, for that whole luggage compartment back there. I love, uh, I love the tricycle too, that's really nice. Thank you. Did, you. did you create that too? Well, the trike was pretty much created. The fenders, believe it or not, were found at a swap meet here in Pomona. Uh -huh. uh, we put the fenders together, we had the tank put together, and then I found myself down at Harley picking out those little metal brads and putting it on. <laughs> so we, we we came up with all the little Harley details as we possibly could. And, well, now, uh, is she on airbags? It's all coiled. Yeah? And yeah. Uh, yeah. And then, that suspension sits just as it is, drives that way, no problem so far. You know, it's it's these are such wild looking machines anyway. I mean, uh, you know, and I'm used to them sitting way, way higher. You know, you'd climb up into one of these. And when you bring it down, yeah. so that's not a very no, big cab. No, it's not a big cab at all. And then it was chopped three inches, so it's a little bit shorter <laughs> that way. But you still kind of have to hop into it yeah. just to get into it. Well, but I think if you had any ego at all about what you want to do with this, it would be nice to be able to just to go in front and wash your windows without having to get on a ladder. So <laughs> that's kind of where that is right there. Well, it looks like a blast. Do you use it? Yeah, I use it all the time. It's been everywhere. Oh, it's man. been to Scottsdale for good guys. It's been to Del Mar for good guys. It just and she runs nice? Runs nice. Matter of fact, after this, if you'd like, be my guest. You can take, take ahead, it out for a spin, huh? Just take it out for a spin. <laughs> Anytime you want. It'd be great. Well, it is a cool interior. Well, got thank your, you. Got your steer stitch in there. Well, you know, we really do have a, horror, a bucking horse ranch. It yes. is a live and well ranch. Um, my wife's a rodeo rider. Oh, and, uh, yeah. So, uh, we live the cowboy way, and that's kind of the way it's been. <laughs> the cowboy way. <laughs> well, hey, this is a great ride. Okay, well, thank you so ride. much. I truly appreciate it. <laughs> I love this baby. Oh, thank you. Thank you. So, Ian, this has got to be the only one of these here. It's the only one I've ever seen. <laughs> what? Absolutely. What is it? Well, we call it the Tractor Dragula. What is that engine? That's, is, that a, is that a truck? It's a truck motor from a semi-truck. It's a Rio motor for a white truck. I mean, the frame and your pipes are, what's the deal there? How's well, that work? The frame is a, it's a street sign that fell down in front of my shop. <laughs> I hooked it to my truck. And, you'll, you'll teach them. Yes, I took it. And then uh, it's the hot chassis design. Because it is air suspension, it can lay on the ground. And if you were to drop this on the icy roads in New York, where I come from, you get stuck. <laughs> So I put the uh, put the exhaust through the frame to warm it up a little, and it works great. It sounds very very unique. Yeah, yeah, and and the, uh, the the body. The body. The front half is a 31 Ford. Yeah. The rear half is a 27 touring car, 
and then the doors are just some scrap metal. That you just happen to have laying yeah. around, right? I make these windshield frames. I was going to ask design. you what that's off of. That's really yeah. cool. I made it. it. It started off life well, from an Auburn boat tail yeah, speedster. Yeah, that's, that's what I thought it was. And I modified it are to they fit aluminum? this car. This is cast aluminum. Yeah. Wow, that is nice. Yeah. And the uh, speedometer is off of a... Early VW. Early VW. Bus. Bus. <laughs> My girlfriend Stephanie designed the split shifter. But you know, that's a real, that's the kind yeah. of the truck grommet on that thing. It's, I mean, it's really... You a, just weld it on some sticks to make it shift. Well, I, I, you've, you've really stitched this together in general. These are not smooth welds. Well, and I don't know if you've noticed that. The but. idea with this car is it's raw. It's aggressive. It's, uh, you know, it's absolutely hand built. Yeah. It's unrefined. Late model Chevy dually rear end and uh, airbags. And airbags. Airbags. <laughs> so you do have some modern technology in too. Well, my friend works for Pro Hopper. He helped us out. He gave us all the stuff to make it go up and down. I mean, do you build these kind of things normally or? Well, this one if is you a can kind call of a one-off. Yeah. yeah, I had been building what's called rat rods for a little while, I guess. Seems like it's out of fashion now. Everybody's catching on, so I'm moving on to more finished painted cars, but this is what this I did. This would not be one of them, though. No, no. This is this is what I did, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> did and, I, and what did you call it? It's what is its name? It's the Tractor Dragula. The Tractor Dragula. Big hot rod for big schwag. Big hot rod for big schwag. Well, man, it's insane. Thank you. you must be too. <laughs> A little bit, I guess so. Way cool, buddy. Right on. Thanks. Welcome back to my classic car. Well, Chris, this is very sweet. It's just too bad you couldn't drop it down a little bit more. Well, we're going to grind it down the freeway later and make it lower anyway. <laughs> make, it, so. make it even lower. So what are we looking at? It's a Chev 63? It's a 63 Chevy. That's what it started out yeah. as. And uh, we've always done extensive sheet metal work to get it to how it is now. Yeah, it's really, I mean, it's really extreme. You, you must have it on air ride or something. Yeah, right? it is all airbag and it's got a belt driven compressor. So, so when the motor's running, the compressor's filling up the tank, so I have instant air whenever I need it. And your, your graphics down the side, that really sets this baby off. Yeah, we were looking through some, uh, some old concept vehicle books, and they're a cross between a 58 Buick and whatever else we saw in that book that day. And the guys from Broken Neck Customs just came in and took them 18 hours and they painted it. She's really, really sweet. Now, did you do most of this yourself? Um, I don't take any credit for what you can see, but everything underneath, me and my buddy carried over, I have Customs did. I would love to say I built the body, but I'm not but that yeah. talented. <laughs> and it is an art. Now, you've, you've been to the Grand National Roadster show before, right? Oh, yeah. It's a beautiful show. The, the stuff inside that hall is incredible. It is awesome, isn't it? Yes. It is. Well, and the stuff outside is cool, too. Yes, it is. Now, the interior, you've, you've kind of cleaned that up from stock, but you left it a little bit, you know, I mean, that, that dash is, is pretty original. Yeah, it's got all the original dash pieces. I shaved the gauges to put some white face gauges. Yeah, and I, I like a, that. And I a 98. Tahoe center seat so the seat folds forward and you can see my stereo components and just recovered it in two-tone uh, microfiber. Now have you chopped it at all too? I mean it's got it, a chop on it? It is chopped three and a half inches off the top and it's got two and a half inches off the bottom of the body. That's how you get it that low. That's just how you keep, get it that low. Just keep cutting until you like it and then rebuild it. <laughs> well what takes it down the road? What's under the hood? Uh, it's a, just a tune port motor I put together. Oh yeah. And it is all sheet metal. There's no fiberglass and no Bondo on this car. Uh -huh. uh, it was on the cover of a magazine all in bare metal, so I have that issue so I can prove it to people. Because it, <laughs> it looked beautiful in bare metal, it was just hard to keep up. Yeah, I hear you. A little I bit of scotch bright and WD-40. <laughs> runs pretty nice though? Yeah, it runs good. It runs good. It gets down the freeway as fast as traffic and way lower. Yeah, and people dig it? People trip out because when it drives you can't see the wheels. Yeah. So it looks like it's hovering. and people. People like swerve into you checking it out, and I'm afraid I'm gonna get hit with it. <laughs> well, it seems to you know, get a fair amount of attention here, too. I, that, you know, that's what I came for. I, I, like, I like the show, I like the environment, and these kind of, this is what I like to do, so. Yeah, well, you know, you're, you're bringing it here to, you're kind of the granddaddy of all shows. So oh yeah, this show is the greatest. It, if you it, could just be in, the, in this area with the cars that are inside. Knocks, it's an honor. Knocks your eyes out, <laughs> Yep, it? it does. Well, you got a nice one here, too, Chris. Thanks man. a lot. Thanks for bringing her out. Maybe one day you come out and drive it down the freeway. Maybe so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. The Grand National Roadster Show is just amazing. It's art, innovation, and engineering at its absolute finest. It's definitely worth the trip to Southern California just to see it.